Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. Today, due to the challenges of fossil fuel consumption, such as increasing air pollution, greenhouse gas emissions, and limited resources, the world is using renewable energies, such as solar, waves, hydrostatic, wind, and ground energy. One way to utilize solar energy is solar chimney. The basis for a solar chimney is the difference in density and pressure difference due to the increase in temperature inside the solar collectors, which acts as a force. Solar energy is one of the cleanest and most accessible sources of electricity on Earth, especially in areas with high annual solar radiation. In a solar chimney system, there is a transparent roof that is capable of absorbing solar radiation energy. On the other hand, the air entering the system from the sides of this roof collects in the space between the roof and the ground. In fact, the transparent roof and the ground appear as a collector. The heat received by the ceiling of the solar chimney heats the air in the space and moves upward due to its lightness and due to the buoyancy effect. In the middle of this roof, there is a vertical chimney or tower, which due to the difference, difference in uh, pressure between the hot air flow and the cold air, uh, causes the hot air to rise up into the upper part of the chimney. The three-dimensional solar chimney modeling was done using Design Modeler software. The meshing of the present model is carried out by ANSYS meshing software. The mesh, is, uh, the mesh type is structured and the element number is equal to 106,323. In the viscous model, the S standard K epsilon model has been used. That is a two equation turbulence model that allows the determination of both a turbulent length and time scale by solving two separate transport equations. Uh, the S standard K epsilon model is in ANSYS Fluent falls within this class of models and has become the workhorse of practical engineering flow calculations in the time since it was proposed. Uh, robustness, economy, and uh, reasonable uh, accuracy for a wide range of turbulence flows explain its popularity in industrial flow and heat transfer simulations. Also, it is a semi-empirical model. The S standard K epsilon model is a model based on model transport equations for the turbulent kinetic energy K and its dissipation rate epsilon. The model transport equation for K is derived from the exact equation, while the model transport equation for epsilon was obtained using um, physical reasoning in the uh, Derivation of the K epsilon model, the assumption is that the flow is fully turbulent and the effect of uh, molecular viscosity are negligible. The standard K epsilon model is therefore valid only for fully turbulent flows. <clears throat> In the near wall treatment option, we select the standard wall function. Uh, because if the K epsilon turbulence model is used like in this simulation, it is not possible to simulate flow vortex near the walls. So a wall function must be defined, that is a standard wall function for this simulation, to investigate the fluid behavior near the wall. Although the ground surface is assumed to be in a constant temperature equal to 347 degree of Kelvin. The simple algorithm in the solution methods section uses a relationship between velocity and pressure corrections to enforce mass conservation and to obtain the pressure field. 
Also, the pressure velocity coupling scheme controls, controls the manner in which pressure and velocity are updated when the pressure based solver is used. The scheme can be either segregated, like simple, uh, that uh, pressure and velocity are updated uh, separately, or coupled, that uh, the pressure and velocity are updated simultaneously. Uh, ANSYS Fluent provides the following segregated types of algorithms uh, like simple, simple C, piezo, and fractional step or FSM. In general, segregated methods like simple that has been chosen in the CFD simulation are faster per iteration, while the couple algorithm usually requires fewer iteration to converge. Also, we can display the temperature contour on the defined plane. And finally, in the surface integrals section of the reports, uh, we can extract all the required record from the reports from the from every surfaces like outlet. For example, we can check the velocity outlet from the chimney, the temperature outlet or inlet or every desired report we can obtain in this section. Finally, this table is a summary of the steps for defining the problem and its solution as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Master CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our experts via info at Hope you enjoy!